Hey guys, and welcome back to Homes on Wheels. Today we're in Warrior, Alabama at the home place, and we're going to be taking a look at another beautiful Deer Valley home. This home is four bedrooms, two baths, 47 by 80, 2,520 square feet. Really, really gives new meaning to Mobile Mansion. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and go inside and take a look around. Check this out, guys. As soon as you walk in, the wow factor is already here with the beams and the ceilings. You have a beautiful entryway right here. I'm guessing this is going to be a nice little coat closet that it is as soon as you walk in. You can tell right away that your heating and air is in the ceiling of this home. Those beautiful exposed beams really, really stand out in this home because of the dark color against the white ceiling. Take a look at that massive fireplace that you've got there. The white wood behind it really kind of resembles the shiplap look that goes along with farmhouses. And one of my favorite features about this home is how open it is, but not only do you have a front porch, you've got a back porch. So let's go take a look at that back porch real quick before we continue any more on the inside. So you walk right out of your very open living room onto this perfectly sized back deck that wraps around to the side. I could see a nice porch swing back here. Just a nice little oasis on the exterior of the home. Let's go ahead and head back inside. You can see as I walk in how open it is over there to the kitchen. Massive kitchen with a huge island. That island has a seating area on this side where you could probably put around four bar stools. But still, let's not shift focus too much from this area over the fireplace. It looks like you could put a 65 inch TV above that. No problem, you got a beautiful ceiling fan. Right here to the right is your dining area. Now let's get a little bit closer look here at the kitchen. There again, that island is really the standout feature. Now what I really like is they did not continue the white cabinets to the island, they actually went dark. And it just makes it stand out and look better. And they changed the type of countertop. So that countertop is that barn wood look. You've got your dual sink right here built into that center island. And see over here, your countertop's different as well as the color of the cabinets. The cabinets are plenty deep enough. I'm not gonna open every one of them in Boreal. That continued countertop here will probably be out throughout the home in the bath area if I had to guess. The black appliances, your refrigerator is actually across the way over there. So let's go ahead and start right here to the left, which I'm gonna assume to be the master bedroom. And judging by that closet, that's exactly what it is, because that is a massive closet. Over here to the right, plenty of room for a king size bed in here. Extremely well lit. Those windows are massive. They're probably at least six foot tall. And let's go ahead and step in here into the oasis or my favorite part of the home. You guessed it, the master bath. Take a look to the right. You have an area for two sinks. Massive garden tub right here another toilet closet right here and a beautiful tiled shower I can't tell y'all how nice this tile is nothing against a fiberglass tub or anything like that but when you have a tile bath area like this it really stands out you got the rain head shower head beautiful shower head that's removable over there especially if you're older that comes in handy to the right you've got a perfect area to put all of your shampoo towels all that kind of stuff just a really beautiful area in that bathroom. Let's go ahead and head in this direction over here and take a look in what's to the right right here. These homes don't have power, so I'm having to use my camera light, so y'all keep that in mind. You've got a beautiful half bath right here. So no shower, but you do have a toilet and a sink, which is plenty for your guests when they come. It's a pretty long hallway down through here, so there's gonna be a lot to see. Right here to the right is your mud room. Wow, it's a lot bigger than I thought. It goes way back there. Plenty of room for your washer and dryer right here. You've also got another door to your exterior right here. So say if your husband's been out cutting grass, you don't want him trampsing through the house, getting it all dirty, he can come in here, change in the mudroom, and drop his clothes right off in the laundry. It's gonna be a utility closet, yep, for your heater and air conditioning area. Right here to the right would be the second bedroom that we've viewed. Nice size bedroom. 
with a nice walk-in closet. There again, the continuation of these large windows really makes a huge difference and the nine foot ceilings. It just gives it a true home feel. The next door that we come to here on the left, wow, that's a big bedroom, massive bedroom, two big windows and another large walk-in closet. And let's see what's on down the hallway. The next room that we come to, here's another bath. So you're actually two and a half baths. This is a good size bathroom to be a guest bathroom. All right, let's go to this last bedroom and take a look. And this may be my favorite bedroom that's a guest bedroom. And the reason for that is, is you've got a window on one wall and a window on the other, on the other rather. And it just really makes a big difference for the lighting in the room. And this probably has the biggest walk-in closet out of all of them. So if you did have, say, three kids, the oldest would probably want this room if I had to guess, especially if they were a daughter with that closet. So here we are back on the exterior of the home. Obviously, it does not look like a manufactured home at all. It's a beautiful home. The outside is much larger <laughs> than what you would even expect, even though we just walked through the interior. Now for the pricing on this home, be sure to call the home place here in Warrior, Alabama. I'll leave their phone number and co contact information below in the description to get pricing on these homes. I normally put pricing in these videos, but for these homes right here, they were actually going through some cost increases and different things, so to be sure that they have it right, I told them I would just tell them to con for y'all to contact them. There again, hope that y'all enjoyed this video in this beautiful home. If you did, be sure that you're subscribed to Homes on Wheels, and we will see you guys in the next home.